Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mud Minecraft 1.10. And you may notice uh, I've got the cobblestone quantum storage unit in my inventory, along with a few other little bits and bobs, because uh, we are going to be getting a cobble generator going. Not because we need to, but because we can. Let's see, buckets of lava, water bucket. And good. Whatever was causing that problem I had earlier seems to stop. I had a game crash too. Jeez, I hate that. There'd be no reason to, but it's like as if I've got the sensitivity turned up to like. 12,000, but the mouse only goes up to about 3,000. Oh, you should turn down the sensitivity. I can't turn it much less than it. Then I go to move the mouse all the way across the mouse pad. Anyway. Speed, main. No. no. I don't want you there. No, no. You on top. There we go. Grid power 102 out of zero. Okay. Just make sure everything is within range. Alright, we can probably go quite a ways that way. Mm, go ahead and throw in some more panels just because. Doesn't hurt to generate too much, does it? Oh, yeah, we got a few blocks before we run out of. All the way over to there. <laughs> that whole chunk is loaded too. Too bad there's a max of only 20 speed upgrades. We'll find out what the maximum limit of one of these is. I've heard it's like 2.1 billion, but I think it's 2.1 trillion, honestly. I think you should be able to spawn in here anyway. I've got that turned off because it draws too much power. But, yeah. 
it does work. I mean, these guys should be breeding a bit. I go there for a second, I thought they were frozen. Eh. Put everything else away. Yeah, it's got this strange issue where I click on stuff and it gives me the recipe for it. And it's like, uh. That's not normal. That's not normal at all. Yeah, I guess that is for fun. Okie dokie. Uh, let's go check on our dragon. Yep. Yeah, and the, uh, in the last episode, the game crashed, and unfortunately, uh, I didn't get it back up and running. I had to actually go in and redo the whole. I had to go reset the world again for like the five millionth time. It's fine if you're just playing it, but if you're trying to do a series on it, it does make it a lot more difficult. Back up, because the elevator is at the top. I've actually disconnected the environmental tech uh, thingamajig uh, beacon. I was going to put like haste 3 on it, but you have to have the tier 4 for that, and I don't feel like making the tier 4. <laughs> You're going to need that. But this is basically what most of what I do in this world anymore. It's just fly over here, gather my ice, go up there, check the dragon, look at Darren Titan. This is what I did before I updated it to 1.10. I just have different tools. Oh, in between episodes, I have done a little bit of other work here. Not much, just a little bit. Uh, you may notice the netherrack pillars. According to the village info mod that I've got in the pack, which is currently disabled, uh, these corners here are the corners of the spawn chunks. So everything in there is loaded all the time. And I went ahead and lit the entirety of it. Glass. Glass tube. Uh, but yeah, between all these netherrack pillars, this is all spawn and it's all lit. So theoretically there should be no more hostile mobs anywhere on spawn unless it's underground. Because I haven't bothered to go through and check all that. Anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this episode short. And so, if you did like it, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, then do be sure to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode, whatever it may be. Bye-bye.